At six, as Governor Greg Abbott begins to investigate avenues to reopen portions of the state, he says making sure companies and workers are safe to gather will be a priority. While Silicon Valley giants are working to figure out a master plan for this, a local nano company in San Marcos says it's already got a system that's a month away from startup. Ursula Perry explains its plan is to help achieve coronavirus containment. Quantum Materials in San Marcos is a nanotechnology company that already makes solutions to protect companies from counterfeiting operations. Using some of that same approach, it's now promoting QDX Health ID. It's an app to authenticate COVID-19 test results and make sure those who have the virus stay home and those who don't can return to work. It was fairly easy to adapt it to be able to be a solution for tracking um, these tests, the test results, um, and to be able to provide an immunity certificate or some, in, a, in electronic format that would allow people to be able to return to work. The need for authentication of test results and tracking comes after failures worldwide with problem test kits and a lack of a vaccine. The health provider logs into the app the same as the patient does. They, they take the record of the test kit that, that was used for their testing. So it also will start to provide some of a data tracking, which tests are turning out to be accurate and which ones aren't. QDX Health ID claims that their system would monitor patients' tests and authenticate them, even track them all the way through the period when a vaccine is administered, certifying and clearing those who can go back to work and who needs further testing. We, if we return too soon and we don't have good tracking, um, it, 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 we could wind up in a worse situation. This is what that phone app would look like. The track and trace program could be up and running by June 1st, and its makers are now in talks with the governor's office to see if it could be adopted statewide. In the meantime, a beta trial is underway over the next month. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.